Hello lovely people, welcome to my channel. It's Hila here, Saturday Night Stitch, and thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. So today's video is a very super quick video to share with you my Jali or Jali or Jali? Jali? Let me know in the comments box down below how to pronounce this because in all my years I've always thought that it's supposed to be Jali because I thought that they come out of uh, French Canada where... They speak a lot of French, <laughs> but anyway, I digress. Uh, so basically how this video came about is because um, we never had a sale on the indie patterns. And I, every year for the last three years now, I've been buying a Minerva craft membership, which means that you pay a fee per year. It's an annual fee. And it means that you always get an extra 10% discount. So if they're having a 10% off sale, you get an extra 10% off. And it's always worked out that it pays itself um, off by the time that you do the free, uh, you get up to the free postage and packaging. So at the last one, I decided to buy, there were two Jali patterns that I decided to buy. And then I realized that I've actually amassed quite a collection of Jali patterns that I actually use. And one of the reasons why I like the Jali patterns is because they're such excellent value for money. Their age ranges go all the way up from toddler, child size, all the way up to triple XL. So you are covered for, um, if you sew for other people, you can sew for any different size, as long as you're tracing off the patterns, that is. And I find that the pattern sheets are very easy to trace off because they use different colors um, on them. So it does make it quite easy to trace off. In my experience, I found that the patterns are very true to size. That is, if you select the pattern based on your bust, hip, waist measurement, you get something very similar to what you see on the pattern envelope. And again, as I said, with the size range, it means that for my growing family, I, I'm able to make the same pattern, you know, as the kids are getting older. So I just thought it would be fun to share with you the Jali um, patterns that I have. And if you haven't tried out Jali, that is something definitely to check out. I usually get the basics, my basics, so the t-shirt patterns. So we'll start off with the Nico so this is the Jali Jali. You're going to have to bear with me on um, this pronunciation thing because now that I've thought about how to pronounce it, because English isn't my first language, actually. Um, spoke two different languages before I started learning to speak English at school um, at six years old. So I'm constantly thinking about pronunciations. <laughs> and now that I've thought about it, I'm constantly thinking. So I think let's go with Jali, Jali, Jolene, 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 Jolene. We could go with Jolene, I guess. <laughs> um, Jali, Jali doesn't sound quite right. Jali, Jali. Uh, you know what? I'm just not going to even mention the name. But let me know in the comments down below. Are there any Canadians out there who come from the home state where these patterns are made? Let me know how to pronounce this properly so you can take me out of my misery, please. <laughs> so we have the Nico t-shirt pattern here. And it's a raglan sleeve t-shirt pattern. I have made this so many times. It comes in different sizes for boys and for men. And there's 27 total sizes. Um, the patterns are quite big. You get them like this and they are quite innovative in the sense that the pattern itself, so the pictures of the pattern, etc. you have this nice big gigantic reference point over here and then you've got your sizing over there. So to give you context, this one, it goes from rough approximate age to but you have to take the measurements you have to base it on the measurements but they've got an approximate age for what they've used so you've got from age two years old all the way to a size double x l so you're covered for a lot of people 
And then the instructions. So they also have the instructions in French. So it seems like there's a lot of accoutrements that come with it. But really, it's because of the different languages that are also included. But the instructions, oh, as you can see, these are previous patterns that I have traced out for the different sizes. So there's one there for my husband's size. And then um, over the years, I think the first time that I made it for the younger ones, it was a four-year one and then I've made another six six and then an eight year old old one so the instructions are actually included on the pattern sheet itself which I think is pretty handy because you never have to worry about the separate losing your instructions and your pattern sheet which does happen to me sometimes um, I mean when I'm not very good at organizing and putting the pattern sheets away when I finish sewing before diving into the next before diving into the next uh, sewing project but that's a story for another day <laughs> and so here see give it time to focus they're in different colors for you to be able to trace them um, out so really good so this one really like it have made it so many have made it so many times now very successful pattern kids love it my husband loves it and when I've worn the t-shirts that I've made for my husband sometimes particularly if I'm going to the gym or if I'm going to work in the garden I've always thought that they were quite comfortable so the other one that I got is the Eleanor jeans which is a foul jeans or fake fake jeans is that what they call them yeah and that's because they look like jeans but they're not jeans actually so they don't have the fly front you have to make them in fabric that has some stretch i think it's a minimum of 10 percent stretch is required with it and again same thing as the previous ones it's got 27 sizes for girls and women and i've made myself a couple of these that i got quite a lot of wear out of and i've made um, these for my girls as well and they really liked them they do have an so the pockets on them are fake <laughs> There's the fake pockets, except for the back pockets. The back pockets are the real ones. The front ones are the fake. But if you go onto their website, they have a tutorial on how to add hip pockets. And I think they also have um, an addition for different types of pockets. I don't, I've never really explored it because I've always just been perfectly fine with making them as fake jeans. And the genius of them is that they've got an elasticated waist so they're just easy to put on and off it's to me it's like if you don't want to wear leggings but you want the comfort of leggings but to look more together than as if you're just wearing leggings this is a great pattern for that again it was true to size I was very happy with it the only thing though that I would say about it is that um, if you have a bigger bum you would probably need to make an adjustment for it because my the only problem that I had with it was that the waist would ride down if I was doing any bending over or anything like that. And then it would do that thing where it shows the upper band of your underpants, which I didn't quite like. So I'd always thought that, oh, I need to add I need to add an inch or two just to make the waist a bit higher because the waist does sit a little bit lower. But if you like the slightly lower waisted look, these are fabulous. Oh, you can also adapt them to make them kick flare or boot flare if you want to. We have 3136 here, which is the leotards and dresses. My girls, um, they did gymnastics and now they do ballet. So these are very useful for making that um, the ballet or the gymnastics costumes for them. Technically speaking, I could use this to make... Um, you know, one of those 90s style tops that pin at the crotch. I called them the nappy tops because it was like you're wearing a nappy all the way over you. So those are the ones that I have used. The two new ones that I have added are because my boys seem to just be going through jogger pants, sweatpants so quickly. It, it's really... It's really uncanny how that is happening. So anyway, so I got to a point where I was just like, I, I need to have a basic jogger pant pattern that I can just go to and quickly whip something up. 
And it happened that this French Canadian company, this Canadian company, happened to have this one. And it's called the, is this Henry or Henri? <laughs> I think it might be Henry. Uh, we'll just go with Henry for now. And it's got 28 different sizes and it goes all the way up to adult. And even with my husband as well, I make him jogger pants. And so I thought, you know what, if all of the patterns for the boys' and for my husband's jogger pants are in one, that is so much better than me having to bring out the Berda Young pattern that I normally use for my husband and then having to root around the Torbreeze for um, the boys' ones. So I got this one. And because in the past I've always had such a great um, experience with these particular patterns I got it so I'm going to be using this to make some jogger pants for my boys as well as for my girls it's a pretty much unisex pattern and I can even make some for me as well because I will be in need of some new jogger pants particularly in September when we restart the gymming season okay and then I also needed leggings my girls also seem to just go through leggings like mad they just they, they use up the leggings. I don't understand how that happens, but they just get faded up. So I needed the leggings patterns for the girls. And I also decided that I wanted to be able to make myself some leggings um, as well, particularly for autumn, winter and most of spring. I have to wear leggings and they, they can be quite expensive getting really decent leggings. So I'm in the mind of mindset of trying to find some really good quality fabric and just buying loads of it keeping it in stock for just making the newer sets of leggings so if you do know any uh, leggings fabric that you thought was really awesome and really good do let me know in the comments box down below i really appreciate it i actually get a lot of help and information from the comments that you post um, on there and i've found some wonderful resources so i really do appreciate that so let me know if you found some leggings fabric let us know because we need we need good leggings fabric so I got this one, it's number 2920. It also includes the stirrup ties, the, the footed leggings as well, which you can use for yoga um, as well, because you sort of like can keep uh, part of your foot warm, but you've got enough to be able to grip um, onto stuff. And it also includes a mini skirt, although I'm probably not gonna be making that, but it does include all of that stuff. And I've read good things about this particular pattern. Hi, this is me coming at you from post-production wherein I realized I forgot to add two other patterns that are clearly somewhere in the extensive collection of sewing patterns within my sewing cave. But I also have this um, 3134 sewing pattern of the swimming costume that I have made before. I made it when I participated in the pattern review sewing B and I got through to the final round and you can see on there the pictures of the swimming costume that I actually made out of that. It was my first swimming costume make ever. It was a baptism of fire but I thought the instructions carried me through really well and I do have an extensive blog post on how I went about with this particular project. The other item that I have is this jeans 3908 and this was the very first jeans sewing pattern that I ever bought and I bought these I think when my twins were about one or two years old and would you believe it I only made a 12 but I never got around to actually making a pair of these so that's something that I definitely need to look into making and I think the reason why I didn't make anything with it is I sort of fell out of love with the kick flare or the boot flare or the boot cut um, pattern type of jeans and so I just never got beyond the twelve. So these are the two other sewing patterns that I have that come from this very same company. Right, back to the studio. So those are the patterns that I have from Jaylee, Jolie, Jolene <laughs> over here. Um, and I hope that inspires you to go check out their pattern ranges because I think if you can get 27 patterns in one pattern, it is really great value for money and particularly if it's basics that will be needed for all eternity, then why not just get those sorted, the basics 
out of the way. So that's my video today on uh, the Jali Jali pattern. Seriously, let me know how to pronounce it in the comments where this, this is driving me crazy. How do you pronounce J-A-L-I-E? Actually, I decided to put myself out of my misery here in post-production and I have finally learned through the magical powers of Google how to pronounce the name of this company. Jali 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 So, turns out it's pronounced Jali. Hopefully I've said that correctly and cleared up any confusion that I created for myself. Anyway, back to the studio now. If you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button and also smash that like button. It really helps the channel with the YouTube algorithm, which is becoming more tighter and more difficult to navigate. But when you hit the like button and you hit the subscribe button, it kind of just indicates to them that other people who are interested in sewing might like to check out this video and we can grow the sewing community together and we can have more fun talking about sewing and loads more sewing stuff and loads more fabrics and i'll see you in the next video which is going to be a fabric haul which is the last summer fabric haul and until next time lovelies happy sewing bye